Hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is Jose coming to you guys with the second part of our video on how to change the clutch, inner clutch disc on MAO2 or B1401. So this is the second part and today we're not gonna be I'm not gonna be showing you the whole process. I'm just gonna do with another piece that I have around here how to adjust the tension on the inner clutches this which uh, I explained it to you guys we had three screws one two and three this basically adjusts the tension on the disc inner disc inside this head so very important the adjustment and how to do it again I'm not gonna be this is just an example and I'm gonna be using this head to show you the process I'm gonna use a head that I have off of another unit and we'll show you how to adjust the tension on these screws. Now before continuing, remember that if you're gonna change the inner clutches, you need to remove, to disassemble this, you have to remove these brackets, two screws here, another two screws here, remove the, this pin and this piece will slide out. And then you will remove all C bolts, which is these six bolts are half inch, a socket, half inch. So we have one, we have six in total. So you get these six screws out. I uh, recommend to release the tension also since you're disassembling and replacing the inner clutches, uh, release the tension on these three bolts, which is half inch wrench and then a flat screwdriver here. So, we'll show you the process on a head that I have off a unit and what to do to adjust the proper tension on the inner clutch. You don't need too much tension in it or not enough tension on this bolt. We'll show you the correct amount and what tools to use. Okay guys. This will be a short video. I'm super busy on my shop. And someone on YouTube asked me for the second part of this video. So again, I'm not gonna show the whole process because it's, it's very basic and simple. So once you have disassembled this head out of the unit, either MAO2 or B1401, uh, in there you have uh, this inner clutch this. Now Howard used to, used to make them with the steel tooth and those uh, this if still around some people on eBay will still have that type of this the steel tooth but they're no longer available from Howard they changed to this design which is a fiber and the steel tooth are no longer available so I'm gonna give you the adjustment on this uh, on this disc because if, you, if you're using a steel tooth the tension will be a little bit more because the thickness on those the steel tooth discs were slightly thinner than these guys. These are a little bit fatter than the steel tooth disc. So, if you're using steel tooth, you probably will need more tension than what I'm gonna be showing you on this video. So, remember that the adjustment is for this style of this, not metal tooth, okay? All right, now, once, remember that MAO2 uses two this in a clutch, And two to this. These are friction discs. So we use two of these and two of these. Once you have installed them in there, again, like I told you before, when disassembling, I always release the tension on this bolt. And we'll show you in a minute 
how to adjust the tension on this head. Okay guys, we're ready to do the adjusting. Before that, we're gonna be using this flat screwdriver. It's a 3.8. Again, I'm using a 3.8. That's kind of important. This is what I use. A 3.8 flat screwdriver to do the adjustment. It's a long screwdriver. It doesn't need to be the, this long as long as a 3.8. Because that will give you four angles. We have four angles. And we have a mark in there. So we're going to be using this mark to do the adjustment. So I'm gonna pause this video for now because there is music. These people around my shop play music all day long and I'm gonna get in trouble with YouTube with copyright. So give me just a minute and I wait for the music to go off and we'll show you the final uh, process of this and how to adjust. Okay guys, I'm back they're in commercials now <laughs> today is January 6 2022 and we're making this video in kind of a hurry again time is my worst enemy here don't have time to be making videos often I apologize I apologize if the quality of the video is not the one you expect but it is what it is I'm just doing a video by myself with a with my phone so we're showing you the process on adjusting this head so three screws bring them all the way out not completely out once you have done this begin the process of bringing it in with your hand until you feel a stop let's go in Until you feel that it has stopped in something. That's it. So all three by hand are stopped in place. Next, I'm gonna get our screwdriver. I'm gonna put this mark in front of me. Sorry, but and then you can see the mark gonna move a little bit so I could be in front of me the mark is in front of me and I'm gonna do three complete turns one by one so okay that's one go to our second and you can do two to start either way it will do the same thing two go to the forward screw so we don't lose so again the mark is in front of me and we're gonna do do three three turns that's one and two in total we're, we're gonna be doing three turns for now I'm doing two so I'm gonna move because this one is facing this way. This turn it this way. Okay. It will be the same process. Again, this is in front of me. Kinda. I'll do one. two and stop and we'll do our third one and you feel you'll feel the tension in it and three turns this one to one three turns 
las entry so remember if you get your hands on a steel tube you might need three and a half turns to do that adjustment but we're doing this fiber uh, tube so only three turns needed Okay guys, we're about to finish this video. I wanna mention something that this is an MU2 head. This is a B1401. The process is exactly the same. Only difference is that B1401 has three clutches, this, and three inner clutch, this, so six in total. Um, and MAU2 has four discs in total, two fiber ones and two stainless steel discs, making a total of four. When replacing this, this, I also recommend to replace the steel plates. This is our friction disc and um, it doesn't make sense to replace this and not replace this. So always do that, replace the inner clutch this and this friction this it's important for you to replace them also so same process remember a 3.8 flat screwdriver four sides and put a mark on it that you can follow and you're gonna put the screwdriver in front of you and adjust accordingly and you'll do three turns each screw one two and three again one two and three after that after you have done the adjustment bring these nuts in the bottom and tie them up tie them up get a wrench and hold the screw with a flat screwdriver so you don't apply more tension to it so tie your nut but don't let this screw spin. Just hold it with a with your screwdriver and then tie it. Um, tie it. Just in case, just hold it with a flat screwdriver so it doesn't turn more. So that's the process of how to adjust the tension on a B on um, MAO2. 80 cores power mixers or B1401 140 cores. Remember that in the video I was showing you this mixer that is still in service. I haven't checked the clutch, the inner clutch on this. We'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna replace them. On a B1401 that I had on the previous video, that one is already being assembled and it's ready to go so um, fortunately I don't have it here on this side to show it to you but I have I still have the MAO2 so remember this is what I've been teaching you how to apply tension on this inner on these um, screws to have the proper tension on your clutch inner clutch disc so hope you like this video, give, you, give, you, give me a thumbs up, that will encourage me to make more videos. I have a ton of work here, ton of projects, I'm working on this Edge 600 for a customer. I have that MAO2 that belongs to me, I haven't even had a chance to touch it. I have a all these projects waiting for me so it's a lot of work a lot of work all of these machines except this one don't belong to me but this is what we do only power mixers you have a beautiful chrome edge 600 over here that is waiting for a buyer 
in this workshop. It's a mess, but it's a beautiful mess <laughs> with a lot of expensive equipment here. So, hope you like this video. I apologize, my videos take too long to, I mean, it takes me too long to upload videos, but this is the reason why I had to, too much work in here. But every once in a while, I'll be uh, uploading videos to YouTube. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and I have a goal. I want to reach a thousand subscribers, and hopefully I can reach it. If that happens, obviously it will encourage me to upload more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful new year, beginning of the new, of the year, and. Stay in touch, give us your comments, I always read them, and try to help the community. That's my main goal. My main goal is to help our community. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.